Hello friends, welcome back to my channel where we explore the latest military strategies and technologies. Today we're going to take a deep dive into the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, and their innovative approach to modern warfare. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Coming in at number 10 is the IDF's focus on cyber warfare capabilities. Israel has emerged as a major cyber superpower, developing advanced offensive and defensive cyber tools. The IDF established Unit 8200, a elite cyber warfare unit back in the 1950s. They have conducted sophisticated hacking operations against Iran's nuclear program. The IDF uses cyber attacks to counter terrorism and gain intelligence. At number 9 is Israel's emphasis on versatility and adaptability. The IDF prioritizes flexibility over raw firepower. Their small standing army can rapidly mobilize and tailor forces to meet emerging threats. Soldiers are trained to serve in multiple roles as the mission demands. The IDF also studies their adversaries' strategies to inform their own combat doctrines. This allows them to adapt quickly on the battlefield. Number 8 covers the IDF's advanced electronic warfare and signals intelligence. Israel has developed sophisticated capabilities for electronic attack, monitoring, and communication security. Their EW and SIGINT gives them a critical edge in intelligence gathering. It also allows them to neutralize enemy detection and disrupt anti-aircraft missiles. This electronic warfare expertise strengthens both defensive and offensive operations. Coming in at number 7 is the IDF's assertive use of preemptive and preventive strikes. Israel has shown a willingness to launch preemptive attacks to mitigate larger threats. In the 1967 Six-Day War, Israel struck first, devastating rival air forces. Preemptive strikes on nuclear programs have also been used against Iraq and Syria. The IDF combines intelligence, flexibility, and decisiveness to win through disruption. At number six, we have Israel's extensive use of unmanned aerial vehicles. Israel is a leading innovator in UAV technology, with systems like the IAI Heron seeing wide use. UAVs take on vital surveillance and strike roles. They can stay aloft for long periods, streaming real-time intelligence to ground forces. Israel leverages these drones for precise strikes with minimal risk. Halfway through the list, number five covers the IDF's elite training and motivation. IDF soldiers undergo rigorous training to build technical proficiency and psychological resilience. This ensures high levels of readiness across the IDF's reserve forces. Their training philosophy emphasizes initiative, creativity, and adaptability. These elite training standards are vital to the IDF's success. In the number four spot, we have Israel's tactical emphasis on maneuverability over raw firepower. The IDF leverages maneuverability and surprise to fight asymmetric warfare. Small, decentralized units can call on fire support when needed. This allows them to concentrate force at the point of attack quickly. The IDF would rather outflank and outmaneuver adversaries than get locked into wars of attrition. This maneuverability requires highly trained soldiers who can operate independently. It also needs a flexible command structure comfortable with decentralized execution. The IDF has built these competencies through rigorous training and organizational learning. This gives them an edge in fluid, unpredictable combat situations. At number three is the IDF's advanced missile defense infrastructure. Israel has developed a multi-layered missile shield to defend against rockets and ballistic missiles. This includes the Iron Dome for intercepting short-range threats. David's Sling tackles medium-range missiles, while Arrow focuses on ICBM-class threats. This integrated network provides a crucial shield against attack. Israel has invested billions into developing these advanced missile defense systems. They offer protection against attacks from Gaza, Hezbollah, Iran, and other adversaries. 
The missile shield gives Israeli citizens vital peace of mind against indiscriminate rocket attacks. Coming in at number two, we have Israel's focus on high technology weapons and innovation. Israel invests heavily in military R&D, developing cutting-edge systems. From advanced radar to precision munitions, the IDF leverages technology for qualitative military superiority. Israel also has a thriving defense industry that drives innovation. The technology focus even extends to ground forces with projects like the Taver assault rifle. Israel's in-house military technology makes them less reliant on foreign imports. It also allows them to tailor systems to their unique operational requirements. This high-tech emphasis will likely only accelerate in the years ahead. And finally, the number one IDF innovation strategy is their emphasis on high-quality intelligence. The IDF has placed enormous emphasis on intelligence gathering and analysis. Their intelligence core builds an informational picture through signal intercepts, visual intel, interrogation, and other methods. Accurate real-time intelligence allows for decisive and precise use of force. It provides the IDF a critical edge. The IDF's intelligence capabilities are said to be among the best in the world. Some claim their intel is even on par with agencies like the American CIA or British MI6. Clearly, prioritizing actionable intelligence has been key to many of Israel's military successes over the years. So there you have it, the top 10 innovative strategies that make the IDF one of the most effective modern militaries. Their embrace of technology, adaptability, and intelligence gives Israel an edge on the battlefield. Let me know your thoughts on the IDF's unique approach in the comments. I'm curious to hear your perspectives on how the IDF stacks up against other modern militaries around the world. Do you think other nations should seek to emulate some of these Israeli strategic concepts? Or do you think some of them could backfire? What do you see as the biggest strengths and weaknesses of the IDF's strategic philosophy? Looking forward to reading your insights on this unique military force. Before we wrap up, I did want to provide a brief update on the ongoing conflict between Israel and militant groups in Gaza. Recently, there have been rockets fired from Gaza by Palestinian militant groups and retaliatory airstrikes by the Israeli Air Force. Both sides seem to be employing a similar mix of conventional weapons and tactics that we've seen used previously in clashes over the years. However, new technologies like Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system have proven effective at intercepting many of the rockets fired from Gaza. Still, the unrest continues to cause loss of life on both sides. As always, we can hope that cooler heads prevail and a mediated solution can eventually be reached. That's all for today's video on the IDF's modern warfare strategies. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on future military technology content. See you next time.